So about around the beginning of this year, I believe, I super tipped slash super chatted a question to John Campia of the John Campia Show. And I asked him whether or not, you know, it seems that adult entertainment, the late night kind, um, on channels like Showtime, Cinemax, uh, the movie channel and such, were kind of going extinct or basically not being, you know, a priority anymore when it came to the broadcasting. And John gave me a decent answer. You know, he even mentioned from his own experience um, that he probably had seen this kind of stuff before, but he, but basically overall, he understood what I was saying. He understood the question. And it got me thinking too, you know, what exactly is going on? Because when I'm talking about, you know, adult, late night adult programming, I'm talking more along the lines of, you know, adult softcore uh, movies that are released, distributed, and made by companies of the adult kind like Adam and Eve, uh, CED, and so on. Or to use a more fictional example, Double Z Studios from the Sabrina Online uh, world, which is founded and run by the character Zigzag the Tiger Skunk. But, you know, be that as it may, you know, it, you know, it got me thinking, you know, what exactly is the future for all these, you know, movies, for all these programs? Because I know right now Showtime, from what I've understood, uh, is the current home of the L Word. And that's kind of an adult series, adult, a very adult dramatic series if you if you, you kind of see where i'm going with it or going with that very adult dramatic series kind of it's kind of along the lines of a more how do i put this more of a adult version of desperate housewives we'll put it that way but basically more sided with the lgbt community which obviously made it a big hit but when we but when we look at something like that being on a cable channel like Showtime, obviously that means Showtime is also going to house a lot of the movies and shows that go basically a step beyond what the L word uh, provides. And believe it or not, that's exactly what we get with Showtime. That's exactly what we got with Cinemax and the Skinmax um, block, if you will. That's what we're kind of getting at times with the movie channel, which is a spin-off, subsidiary spin-off channel of Showtime. But again, when you but again, if you're interested in it though, and you go down onto the on-demand portion of Showtime, and you notice that the choice in the after hour section is, you know, getting a little smaller. Like you're gonna get new additions here and there. But at most times, you could tell that the, the lineup, the catalog itself, is getting smaller. It does bring up the question, if you're a fan of it, what is happening? And I think John brought up a good, a good answer, and I think everybody else knows what that answer is. You know, ever since the advent of the Internet, basically the Internet being, you know, uh, I guess you could say available to everybody over time, you know, basically available to them to incorporate into all their households. And then you have the cable, then you have the phone companies and then the cable companies, you know, basically making it a part of their packages to when you get cable, or you get a certain phone service, you get the internet as well as part of that package, depending on what kind of uh, version of the internet you want. Like, you know, do you want the fast speeds, normal speeds, whatever. And it's, Basically, ever since the advent of the internet and, like I said, the ability to allow a lot of folks to bring it into their homes, you know, these kind of um, programs and movies, you know, shows and stuff on things like Showtime, on things like Cinemax, on places like, believe it or not, believe it or not at one time, Epix, yeah, that's why Epix, uh, which is E-P-I-X. 
Epix, um, even at one time they had it, you know, and like I said, Cinemax with Skin Max with the Skin Max block and everything. Ever since the internet came into being, you know, as it is, you know, up to where it is now, and like I said, being in the house, being in basically everybody's household uh, that you can think of, uh, the I, I guess you could say the you could say basically the the need for late night pr for these movies and shows to be on aired late at night on s things like Showtime, S Cinemax, Skin Max Block, the Movie Channel, Epix, and all that have become almost obsolete. Like, now, like I said, Showtime is still doing it, obviously, but their catalog is kind of slowly dwindling. T TMC, the movie channel, is kind of doing it still. But the other ones that have done it before, like Epix, e which is, again, E-P-I-X, and Cinemax, are not doing it at all. The only time you might see them incorporated is if it's part of a movie that they are agreeing to uh, broadcast or make on demand as part of their service. And that's it. You know, no other um, no other answer beyond that. But again, it's, but again, it really makes you wonder what's going on, right? It really makes you what's going on. It makes you wonder what's going on. And it also makes you curious, what, what will the future be? You know, how much longer before even you know, a play, even a company like Showtime, which is owned by Viacom, you know, and the movie channel, which is also owned by Viacom, how long will it be till basically they finally end it? You know, in other words, they get rid of the after hours block and just say, you know, the after hours block and cattle and the category, you know, you know, what's going to, what's going to happen after they get, you know, not what's going to happen, but how long before basically it's late? I do apologize. It's about eleven oh four p.m. Uh, on the Sunday evening, but it makes you wonder what's going to happen. You know, what's going to happen in the future with that block? You know, how long is it going to be around for? You know, for much longer. Like, is twenty twenty three going to be its final year? Because when you, if you do pay attention, if you do watch that stuff, and you pay attention to you know, like the little details, like, you know, how long it's going to be, you know, on the air or available for on demand, it's going to give you a certain date. And some of those dates co coincide, you know, month-wise with this year, with this upcoming year, which is 2023. Some even go into 2024, but a majority of them are 2023. So it makes you wonder if 2023 will be the last time that Showtime and the movie channel by extension will, you know, uh, make you know make available these adult movies that are produced and distributed and created by companies like the Adam and Eve Company or Adam and Eve Studio, like CED Studios. It makes you wonder if that's it, and that after twenty twenty three or throughout twenty twenty three, the after hours category in the on demand section of Showtime and such, as well as the block, the late night block will be replaced by regular mainstream movies or regular mainstream series. We don't know. We don't know. It's it's a it's something to really think about. If, again, if you're interested in that, if you do pay attention to that or you put it on just because, okay, you and your significant other want to get in the mood and you need something to get you in the mood with. And that's basically the only thing you can find. It, it It's really an interesting situation. Because I guarantee you, people that have Cinemax, and probably one of the favorite portions of Cinemax was Skinmax, because like I said just moments ago, it would get them in a significant other in the mood, uh, perhaps. You know, you can't tell me that those people didn't think Cinemax would get rid of Skinmax, but it did. Nobody probably thought when Epix started, and it was shown that they had an adult section, that they'd get rid of it, but they did. So now the question is, will Viacom do the same with Showtime? And if the trend continues to go the way it is and the catalog in the after hours section of Showtime's On Demand, you know, gets even smaller and slimmer, then, yeah, I would say within the next year or so, we could see um, Showtime's After Hours and the movie channel's After Hours uh, block and um, On Demand catalog uh, go away and just be replaced with more mainstream related material. 
Because I think, like I said, with the advent of the internet and it being more more readily available in households than it ever been, I mean, you can't even go into a, a and I say this with all due respect, no offense, no, you know, no offense, all due respect, if you will. You can't even go into a low income house without them having uh, internet, you know, available to them, you know, without a problem. You can't go into a middle class house without somebody having the internet. You can't go into a higher class income house without somebody having the internet in there. So, you know, it's everywhere, including your phones. Like with my phone, where I'm recording this audio from, your phone network, whether it's Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Xfinity Mobile, uh, or in my case, Straight Talk, you know, or Cricket, you know, it, the internet is available just about to just about everybody out there. It is. I mean, you even have cellular wireless, which is more for the low income, if not the homeless people that live in the shelters trying to get back on their feet. You know, that too has internet that they can have access to. And because they have access to that internet, they're, they're able to have access to the adult entertainment that you normally would see on a on, on a block like Skin Max or in a category, on demand category like Skin Max, X via Cinemax or, you know, on demand category of adult after hours like Epix or the after hours currently with Showtime and the movie channel. You know, they now have access to that, which thus basically makes the, the usage or the needing, I should say, to go on demand or even wait till late at night to watch these kind of stuff almost obsolete and non and non-needable basically so when you look towards 2023 and even a bit of 2024 you have to wonder if within the next year or so you know adult entertainment adult triple x entertainment if you will soft core entertainment it's pretty much done on cable that you know on demand wise and broadcast wise before or around the beginning of 2024 you know, it'll all be replaced by mainstream stuff. And that the only time you might even consider having that kind of content is if the mainstream program, movie, or I should say mainstream program, series, or movie, uh, incorporates it into, into the story, whether it's in an episode or within the movie itself. But if you're interested in it, if it's intrigue, you're a fan of it, all I say, as I've always said, is, have to, is you just have to wait and see you know, what they bring to, you know, what is brought to the table, you know, you know, basically see what the next step is going to be. But what are your thoughts? Let me know down below, guys. Comment if you like. Live chat during the premiere. Like the video. There will be an audio podcast version of this on my BW Roses Discussions, which you can find on all your favorite audio podcast locations except for Pandora. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. You all have a good night.